guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Ruth Kim I know you're asking yourself what's up with this fat face on the screen uh, as you can see I have a small bump on my eyelid it's called chalazion chalazion is actually a slower developing lump that forms due to blockage and swelling of an oil gland in the eyelid and I've been having mine for the last one year I tried treating it with drops I tried everything possible but it was not working Today I have an appointment at the doctor and it's going to be operated. It's a minor OP and this is what we are going to do today. As you can see guys, I'm already here. Just see how big it is. I've just realized it's the same eye, same eyelid but different position. They gave me a name tag. It's about to go down guys. It's about to go down and this is some last minute clips. I'm super super nervous. It doesn't matter how small the operation is. Every time I'm going through one because I went through the other one last time, I was nervous. Just received an eye drop to make the eye numb, like an aesthetic eye drop. And I can start feeling it. I'm feeling it all over. As you can see, I'm already set for the OP, the, the heart, the shoes. And I won't miss you. I won't miss you it makes me feel bad every time i get it but they say it can reoccur the reason why it keeps coming back it's because it's an adjustment to the original challenge and that means i'm a victim shit i hope it won't come back this time guys because i was not allowed to vlog my surgery i'm just going to add this clip so that you can see how a challenge is removed <laughs> Anyways, done with the OP. It was not painful, but it's the worst. It's the worst experience ever. You know, when you feel that pressure on your eye and you guys know how the eye is super, super sensitive. I'm supposed to sit here for the next 20 minutes and add pressure using my hand on the eye. Mm. I wouldn't wish anybody this thing. This is terrible. So I received ibuprofen. It's a painkiller. I'm supposed to take it when i feel pain i can't f so guys it's time to go home and kevin is here to pick me up yes i'm not supposed to walk on my own or walk down the stairs so i'm glad my muhazbe is here <laughs> yes <laughs> okay he got my sifina dirona the boys in the funga belt So guys, as you can see, we are done. I'm, I'm not even psyched. By the way, guys, on this day, I had night shift. That means I have not slept. And the process, like I told you, the other OP was much better. I didn't feel that pressure like I felt this time. The doctor from this OP was not like, hey... He was being brutal. Like, you feel the pressure that someone is using on your eye, even if it's numb. And it was terrible. And that now I'm straining to see with one eye, which is also tired. But I'm glad that thing is, like, gone. I hope it's gone forever and it's never coming back. She do it. So, guys, this is me, day two after the operation. Uh, I'm heading to the clinic the doctor has to take out the bandage and then i hope i'm going to go home without this bandage because it was a nightmare it you know when you used to sing with two eyes and now you're seeing with one eye it's totally different and i don't know if you know that when you close your eyes and then you start seeing small togunyu small worms or imagining things that's the craziest part of it but sleeping is the best part because when i close my eyes i'm at peace like i feel good i can sleep well but when i'm trying to see something 
it's not the easiest and then i have a one year old she tried to grab it from this side i don't know if you can see that but she tried to grab it from this side so let's go and see the doctor so at this point kevin had pissed me off and i was super super mad mad and by the way now i'm at the clinic but the thing is i waited for almost an hour i hate waiting and then it, when it's your turn it just take a minute like pop guys here i am without the bandage as you can see the eye is a bit swollen like you can see something was done there and i still have this feeling like i have something on my eye i think it's that where it was cut from inside i still feel something touching touching me like i have small small balls or sand deep inside guys in the in the in the process if there's something i missed and something i longed for is to see again finally see again with my two eyes i don't know if you can feel how difficult it is to try and see with one eye but i'm glad that i did it and i hope it's going to heal nicely and quickly this is day three after the operation and as you can see it's almost gone it's still there but it's almost gone and i feel good i'm starting to get that confident back <laughs> yes but i still feel that thing inside my eye but I, like i said i know it's the scar inside there so i totally understand so guys this is day four you can barely tell that nothing happened here but like i said the only thing that's nagging me is that's feeling like something is inside the scar is still touching my eye yes but video the kada sayaga let's talk about three natural treatments for a sty or basically a clogged oil gland along the eyelids the first is a hot compress heat using an eye mask like this is an effective way to open up the pores in the oil glands and also melts the oil glands so the contents can come out easier. Next, focus on cleaning the eyelashes. Using various eyelid wipes just like this, clean from nose to ear a few times a day to remove dead skin, dirt, and debris. Another way to clean is actually number three, using baby shampoo. By putting baby shampoo on a face cloth, you can also do the same thing, wiping nose to ear to clean up that dirt and debris. And that's how you can take care of a sty using three natural treatments. How to stop getting these, this, this. These are all Kalasians. Most keep getting them because the underlying problem is not resolved. The underlying problem is oily eyelids. And that's actually a very simple and effective way to prevent them. Step one, warm compress of both eyes, not just the affected eye for 10 minutes. Step two, baby shampoo. We do sell more expensive eyelid shampoo and wipe, but baby shampoo is used in studies and is equally effective and cheaper. Mix this with water, close both eyes, and clean the eyelash line for 30 to 60 seconds. I write two to three times every day. Now you know. Does doing a daily warm eye compress help against styes? Hello friends, Dr. Boparai here. It's a great question and it certainly does. When you do a warm compress, you help your meibomian glands which line your eyelids to naturally express the oil that's in them. Now styes develop when that oil gets backed up. So doing a warm eye compress keeps those meibomian glands open and prevents the onset of styes. Wash your hands because you're gonna to be touching your eyelids and you don't wanna give yourself an eye infection. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. The first way is just close your eyelids and actually start at the top of the eyelid and then push down. And you're not gonna be pushing into your eye as much as it is you're kinda of, kinda of in, just in, influence those oil glands to kind of squeeze out from the top eyelid. Now if you notice, I'm kinda of working my way around, starting in kinda of the corner here and then working my way all the way through the top portion of the eyelid and across to the far side. These oil glands, you have about 20 to 30 of them on the superior eyelid, and so you actually wanna keep moving around encouraging them to release. An additional way you can do it also is starting with your finger at the top and then rolling them down. You can again start here and roll down, but I personally don't find that as helpful, but some people do like it. Then you'll go ahead and repeat on the lower eyelid, same thing. You're gonna kind of push upward this time, starting in the lower corners and 
pushing upward. Now, the most, uh, the most important oil glands that actually end up being clogged and dying off first are usually the ones in this lower corner. So it's really important to make sure you get those lower corners really good. And then you, of course, repeat not just on one eye, but do that again on the other eye. You can even do them both at the same time if you're really coordinated. By the way, for those who are following up, Kakitu Kamenda. You know, no, Kamenda Kwao, but Kuna Dawa Naeka. That's why Machina Kahivi. But Naskepo, Naskepo, Nani Meona, sadly, there are so many people who are going through the same shit. Because Mina is a Kaita Kashit, Jukana Tokanga. So, Ukiona na Kakitu Kako Kana Tokea, Uneza Kwa, before Kapiti Shemezi, Uneza Kuna Masaji Macho Hivi. Na ama unatumia kale kakituka kutuwa hivi masikio unaekaa apple cedar vinegar. Alafu una massage nayo inatoanga pia. Ama unaeka kitamba ya kuoga majimoto unaekelea juu yako kakitu for 15 minutes. Kila siku usichoke kanezaisha. Kwa sababu usijika operation ja Kenya insurance ina cover. So learn kuitoa nyumbani kwanza. I hope ita asaidia lakini.